when I mention battery, I'm sure you visualize something like this. But do you visualize something like this? <laughs> Chances are you probably don't. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be working with batteries, but we're going to create a lemon battery. So for this, let me go over the materials you're going to need. Many of these materials you'll find from, you know, you might have at home, but some of these materials you may have to go out and purchase, but they're usually readily available or you can find them quite easily at most stores. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project are four lemons, four pennies, you can see that, four galvanized nails. So the nails do have to say galvanized, and we'll talk about the metals and the nails and why we need them for this battery. You're going to need a small knife and of course, adult supervision. And you're going to need five alligator clips. We can see that, okay. Oh, I almost forgot and I always forget something we're going to need an LED light as well, a small LED light. And I have found that green works best for this project. First thing we need to do is we're going to cut a slit in each of the lemons. And you know, just needs to be large enough so that you can insert a penny into the lemon. And I don't think you can see that, but there's some lemon juice coming out of that. So we're going to talk about how the lemon juice works for this battery. Now, without sticking yourself, you want to also insert a nail. So you're going to want four lemons that look like this, that have a small slit with the penny inside each and then the nail. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the rest of the lemons. The next thing I want to do is I want to take my alligator clips and I want to start connecting. And I'll talk to you about the science after I have this all put together. So what I want to do is take my first alligator clip and I want to attach it to the nail. I'm gonna leave the penny open and I'll talk to you about that in a second, about why I'm doing that. And then I'm going to take this next clip and I'm going to attach it to the penny. that stays. Try that again. Okay. And I'm doing the same thing. Nail the nail from one lemon to the penny on the next lemon. And so far I've used two alligator clips. Here is the third alligator clip. I'm gonna attach it to the nail and then the penny. Okay. And then you'll see that I have this penny open and I also have this nail open. And that is because I'm going to attach an alligator clip so this is the fourth alligator clip. I'm gonna attach it to this penny, but leave the other end open to attach my light. And then I'm gonna take the fifth alligator clip and I'm, going to, I'm going to attach it to the nail and then leave this end open to attach it to my light. Now with the lights, I can never remember. And so this is where you're going to want to play with it. One side is longer than the other. So if your light doesn't turn on immediately, just turn it around or flip it and see if that works for you. And on. Yes. Awesome. So let's talk about the science behind this. So I know that this is not your typical battery, but it's just so fun to create and then learn the science behind this. And so we have three main vocabulary words, electrodes, electrical current, and circuits. So what's happening is the copper in the pennies and the zinc in the galvanized nails work together to act as electrodes. 
creating a path for electrical currents to enter and leave with the help of the citric acid that you find in the lemon. When the lemons are all connected by these alligator clips, this creates a circuit for the electrical currents to flow. And then once connected to the LED, the circuit is closed. And that's where we create the light. So what do you do when life hands you lemons? You make light of it, literally. <laughs> I've also added a 3D component because our scientists and engineers should always be planning before they create. And um, I always liked to introduce or work with Tinkercad. And so I've created this in Tinkercad and students can also go in and create their own 3D design model of this battery. <laughs> and as always, enjoy and have fun. <laughs>